Okay, we're going to go through on the field fox and put a paper clip in here. Is our antenna here. I'm not tweaking the connector, I just got it barely sitting in there. Just an ordinary little dumb paper clip. It's the field fox N9912A. I'm going to go over here and put it in network analyzer mode and we've selected the Smith chart. So we can go over here and see with the paper clip uh, what we've got. I'm going to go click on the marker button and then I'm going to go through and move the cursor around. Okay, here's at zero DC. And when you advance the frequency, you go clockwise around the Smith chart. So we're along here, the edge of the Smith chart here, 600 megahertz. And there it is, right. I have the interval tuned uh, coarse enough, but fine enough. There's 821 megahertz. It's just about at resonance here at about say 15 ohms. Just guessing at it, you can look over here it says 18 ohms minus 4J. If I click over here I've gone past resonance. It's going to go up here. There's the second resonance which is around see, about 800 something ohms, 842 ohms. That's of the paper clip here. I can go advance the marker. We're going to go around here and get sort of close to resonance. I'm trying to get close to the 50 over here. That's about as close as we'll get. About 64 ohms, minus 23J, at about 2.4 gigahertz. Kind of broad. It'll loop around. A little whoop de doo there. Maybe that's the part of the paper clip right there. I might have some weird stuff going on. It's not a very well defined paper clip, it's just one I bent. And then you go around here, and it's almost back to resonance again here at 4 gigahertz, around 35, 36 ohms. Now, if I move my hand near this, you can see I can bowl the resonance around. If I bring something metal close to that or something conductive, even if you go down here to the lower end here, you can get close. I can change the shape of the Smith curve. Notice it's not yet the resonance. I can move my hand closer to it, and I can move the marker so it's actually at resonance. About 21, 22 ohms right here. Just shows when you're. That's within a, a. It's about 800 megahertz there. That's because I'm in a fraction of a wavelength close to it, and there's losses into my hand. I can turn this all the way down. There's DC. Now, if I go through here and look at the frequency scale, the marker says 2 megahertz. Now, the jumps on this is around 20, which is a little bit too coarse up here. There's 201 points here from 2 megahertz to 4 gigahertz. So what I probably need to do is change the display, frequency of the display, put the start in over here, and I'm going to go put in, say, 100 megahertz. I'm going to put the stop to be, let's say, 1 gigahertz, 1,000 megahertz. Now, I've got the arc over here, hit the marker, I can go through and got a little bit more 
ease of moving this around. There's the first resonance right here. 829 megahertz. Got about 18 ohms. And that's with the paper clip here. On the Field Fox 4 gigahertz unit on the Smith chart. So down here, this is a short antenna. If I go through and only, let's say, half a gigahertz, 500 megahertz, we're down here to where this is zero. This is uh, over here, and it's going to swing over. It's capacitive because it's uh, short until you hit the resonance. This tire of the curve on here, when it's along this line here, it's a pure resistance. This is a short, dead short, zero ohms. This is infinity, open. So if I move this back down here, we've got a low frequency below on a, just a vertical antenna. That's just a core, little precision piece of paper clip. Could be really careful. I've just got it sitting there. You want? I actually should put another connector on here. Is what I normally do, but. That's in another place right now, but so you don't tear up the connector. What you do is you put another end connector on here so you can hook on a little hokey antenna. It's a nice little curve through there. There's about 829's resonance. If I move my hand close to it, I've shifted it. So I have to go through here and probably just drop the resonance by having my hand close to this. Notice how it pulls the curve in too. I can go through and get close to it and moves the circle in. The center here is of course 50 ohms. Uh, the way this Smith chart can be normalized to anything, most Smith charts are normalized to 50 ohms. Now if I go through here and take my little paper clip and change it. Go over here and just stick it in a little bit differently. We're going to get a different resonance. So I've changed the shape there. It's a little bit actually fairly close. I'm going to take this out and go through and lengthen it. I've taken that little jog out. So it should drop the resonance a little bit. Made it longer. There it is without the curly Q on it. You can see here at 824, it's way up here. I take the cursor, drop it down. I've dropped the resonance down to 793 megahertz. Uh, so that's quarter wave, just with a piece, a little tiny screwball looking piece of uh, coat hanger. It's about 20 ohms. Now, if you notice up here, I can go through and change the frequency display, and I'm going to change the stop to be, uh, say, 1400 megahertz. Now, I've got a little bit more on the scale, and I can swing this over the marker. There's the second resonance. That's really where it's working half wave. Half wave normally an antenna the impedance is very high. So if I go over here, look at the first resonance, quarter wave on the structure. We've got here now about 24 ohms. Keep on bumping the frequency up, but on the given resonance structure, we up we've got about 668 ohms. It's very high. A lot of times on an antenna like on an AM station, a lot of times they run them 5 eighths. They run them a little bit past this. 
so you can get the impedance to drop down a little bit and then you go through and cancel out uh, the reactants on that because it's kind of hard at least on a big antenna uh, get a lot of voltage on there so it's not very good so operating around a half wave on something like this if you have any decent amount of power it's hard to hard to match it you can have arcing over so a lot of times people purposely operate a little bit off of the resonance and then they null it out with the resistor or capacitor and you have a little bit less voltages but the quarter wave one on here impedance is fairly reasonable on here now if I went through and fattened this up if I had a thicker piece of, of uh, paper clip or wider piece what it'll do is it'll make this broadband this it won't tend to change this as much that's interesting here how you just move it close see how the circle changes as I move my hand back and forth gets very close now my hand is lossy so what it's doing is it's it's changing the whole shape of the curve around now if I go back here to a different mode I can go to structural analyze spectrum analyzer I can start here at uh, let's start at say 80 megahertz and let's stop at uh, 1 gigahertz, 1000 megahertz. I can go through here with the marker and see a bunch of junk that I've got on here and that 